Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, out on another walk, and this time I am in Coates near Fittleworth in West Sussex. And I'm here to meet up with the Reverend Canon John Green, who's going to take me around a delightful rural church, St Agatha, at the foot of the South Downs here near Berry Hill. Hello, John. Good morning. The Reverend Canon. Oh, That's a, a grand title, no, think, isn't it? Yes, I think John will do perfectly well. Thank Fantastic. You. We're standing on um, what I think is an old drove road. Could it's, be. It's, could be. It leads down from the Downs. Yes. Does it? Yes. Um, towards Fittleworth on this very rural little part of um, Coates. Yes. Which is a, a. Is it attached to Fittleworth at all? used to be right now it's attached to Burton and Sutton oh, and right. Bigner and Bar Lavington yes of course we've got the Bigner Roman Palace that uh, people may know be able to yes. pinpoint it a bit yes. very very nearby and the church is set back behind this hedge here we're filming in December so all the leaves have gone yes um, but I'm going to come on this side of you if that's all right John and you're going to lead me up to yes. uh, this is one of three churches, am I right, in thinking that you look after? No, five. F oh, five? Yes, Right, five. okay. Uh, that must keep you very busy. This is more or less the smallest, <laughs> yes. But the people are very sensible and we have one service in a church per Sunday. Right. So first Sunday in the month, we're here. Oh, okay. So we were here yesterday. And you still get... 38 um, people. Oh, right, okay. Yes. So for, you know, for yes, being Yes, it is him. full. It is full. And, and as you can see, it is a... It's a very petite yes. um, and very a beautiful little gem of a church. Absolutely, yes. But sadly, we don't know a huge amount about it. No, I, it, it, we know that it was here in 1180 because the Chartulary of the Priory of um, Lewis mentions it. Um, and there are various gifts of land and things over the next couple of hundred years. Um, let's go and have a quick look around the, outs the outside, if we may, first of all, before we go inside. We can see that um, the, the masonry is relatively modern, uh, and, and that's the thing, isn't it, with so many churches, that the story of that church is over such a long period of time. So this dates back from Norman times? Yes, or possibly Saxon, though we've no proof of that, but presumably there was something on this site in Saxon times. Yes. Yes, it doesn't look as if it's actually got any bigger over the centuries. This is presumably this is what, what the Normans would have seen. So it was a, a, a nave and a chancel. That's right, a two-roomed church. We don't know much about because you can see there's a little vestry here. Yes. But don't know when. We don't know when. <laughs> no, no, no. It no. seems to be the same sort of stone. Um, and the arch, as we'll see when we're inside. When we get in. It seems to be medieval. Right. I mean, sorry, there's an awful lot of seams in this. Well, th uh, that, that's all right. You know, yes. I mean, it's, it's quite nice because uh, viewers can also, uh, a lot of my viewers who are local can come along and, and they enjoy doing that bit of detective work themselves. Yes, exactly. Which is, which is great. Um, the bell cot on the top there is quite recent, is that? Yes, about 1960, I think. Yes. Um, because Along... it had woodworm and, right. and, and dry rot. Yes, and, uh, and the, you were mentioning before we filmed that it might have been a thatched church. There's back possibility, in, yes, yes, yes. Rather yes. than the, the tiles that we see Thank goodness today. we've got tiles now. Yeah. <laughs> so much <laughs> easier, to, so much easier to, yes. to look at. Well, let's make our way up and, and have a look inside. Um, there's a bit, there's ironstone here in, on the makeup. Yes. Um, which is always, you know, interesting to see. It adds a bit of colour. Yes. Um, Pemsner is not very complimentary about the pointing. <laughs> he describes it as brutal. But... Ah, yes, yes, that's a word I remember seeing in Pevsner quite a lot. A lot <laughs> of things he doesn't like. Brutal. <laughs> but nevertheless, nevertheless, it's kept the, the, the church watertight. Which yes, is... and, and that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, when you see churches where the Victorians have, some people say, mucked about with it, but actually, if it wasn't for the restoration periods, 
there may not be a church at all. Yes, that's right. So we, we had that in both Sutton and Bigner churches. Right. And they're standing and they're watertight. Yes, and that's and important. So thank, thank, yes. you, thank you very much. Exactly. Um, just before we go in this delightful porch, I notice there's a, a beautiful, is it a cedar tree yes, at the back there? Yes, it is. It's quite yes. unusual. Yes, uh, well, we're quite close to Coates Manor. Ah. Um, so. And yes, we, we're standing by the north door, we should also add, which points, of course, towards Coates Manor. So yes. maybe that's why it's not been um, boarded up or walled up as the often they were. And presumably there were cottages, original medieval cottages over there, yes. where there are now houses. Yes. And it rises up, doesn't it, at the back? Yes, it is quite it's steep. It's quite a, a steep thing, a bit like Coombs yes. Yes. In, um, in near uh, Shoreham. Yes. Anyway, we're, let's go in. We want to have right. a look on the inside. Coming through this rather beautiful... I know this is quite old, isn't it, the porch? Yes, I think it's, I think it's 16th century. And then here we are on the inside. And, um, I mean, first of all, it's bright and yes. airy. It's, uh, it's quite tall. It's, it's, got its, um, it's got the whitewash there, which, of course, back in the original days... No. It, it would have been painted it heavily. It would have been painted heavily, yes. Telling. And you have to imagine that these lancets, which are 1200, 1300, these lancets weren't originally there. It would have been like Oh yes, that like one. that. And so the, the building, painted walls, small windows, would be very dark. It would have been dark. Candle lit. And candle lit. Yes, you've got this, as yes. you described, a 1960s mock Tudor <laughs> yes. uh, lighting arrangement, isn't it? Which is, which is nice. If we go down to the, uh, to the chancel arch then, it probably a smaller and more narrow, you think, originally. Don't know. Don't know. Don't Hard know. to tell. Yes. Because it's been widened, you, you can't been, really... And it's been, it's been tidied up, yes. Yeah. The, the stone is, uh, the masonry here is quite rough, isn't it? It's, yes, um, yes. And that may be that it's because it's local. Yes. And almost, you know, being a rural church, perhaps, mm. as you say, for the, for the, 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 um, the local dwellers and things, and the, presumably that was a drove road, shepherds and that sort yes, of thing. Yes, it could it's sort of be. A quickly erected church, in mm. a way. Mm. Um, but, but with a, with a thriving congregation. There's a couple of memorials here. Yeah, this is a charming one for the Duchess of Abercorn. Um, who lived in Coates Castle, which isn't a castle. Um, uh, which castle is the by other name only. Castle by name only, which is the other side of the, of the church. And she lived there for the last 20 years of her life. And right. The church was restored in her memory in about 1907. Tell me about the um, St Agatha that we're, the, the church is dedicated to, because um, I gather that's quite unusual. It's very unusual. She's a very obscure saint. Um, date really unknown, so it's perhaps second, third century. Um, and Anas, she was, one, she was a, a Roman virgin martyr. Right. Who suffered martyrdom by having her breasts cut off. Gosh. Um, and you do see rather ghastly Baroque paintings with her offering them to the Lord. Heavens. Um, so why, why this church has been dedicated to St Agatha, we have no idea. Have no idea at all. No idea. No. But in a way, it's quite nice to have it. I mean, something unusual. it is something unusual, yes. something to sing about, uh, or, to, or at least, you know, notoriety. That gives it notoriety. And you've got your, your altar at this side. I mean, yeah. so it is, I mean, it's obviously well looked after and, and it's not been, it's not forlorn. There's no sense of, of it being a sad church at all, is it? There's, no, there's a... because, of, because it's Advent, there are no flowers, no decoration. Um, normally we would have some flowers in here. Yes. Anything. Is it open to the walkers? Yes, yes, we've just had a party of walkers. Yes, as yes, we yes. were coming up to yes. do the filming, there was a, 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 about 15 or 20 that's of them. That's right, that's right. Strolling yes. by, so it is yes. open, so people can come. People easily can yeah. come and have a look. And, yes. and, and, yeah, that's fantastic. Well, John, thank you so much for no, taking me around. It's, it's my uh, pleasure. Thank you so much for coming. No, it's a lovely, it's a lovely, lovely church, and I would thoroughly recommend people coming. Um, it's very quiet. You can sit here and contemplate 
however you do it, and um, enjoy the church and enjoy the walks in the surrounding area. Thank you so much, John. My pleasure. It's been great fun. My pleasure. Join me again when I go off exploring, but in the meantime, thanks for watching. If you want to leave a comment, do so. It'd be great to hear. If you've been here, that's always interesting to know. But until then, bye-bye.